The snow arrived on Partridge Farm on Thursday and that's also when lambing started. We checked the hedgerows because normally when they're when they're cold the first thing they do is the ewe takes the lambs to the hedgerows. Yeah. Um, mo most of the trouble is is that the lambs that are born in the middle of the night or very early in the morning with the wind chill, um, if they don't get up enough uh, between sort of being born and getting milk in their stomachs, uh, that's when they're dying really. On this farm near Bishop's Castle in Shropshire, they expect some losses during lambing. All farmers do, but this year things will be much worse. Now looking at these sheep tells the story about the weather because these have all been scanned so we know they're all going to have twins. Uh, and although most of them haven't lambed yet, those that have, if you look closely, you'll see many of them only have a single lamb, so they've lost a lamb. This is lamb intensive care. Abandoned or very poorly lambs are brought in from the fields to here and nursed back to health. They join the lucky sheep who are undercover, but with over a thousand sheep on the farm, they can't bring them all inside. And with lambs being born every minute here, well, they're starting to run out of space inside too. The whole system works on these ewes uh, mothering up with their lambs then going outside after a few days, but because we haven't been able to put anything out, um, it's gridlock. Back outside, and the grim fact is, until the snow melts, farmers won't know exactly how many lambs they've lost. You know, she's obviously lost one, she's lost one. Yeah, they should all have two. It's absolutely heartbreaking just you know, you put all that work and time and effort into getting to this stage uh, and then to see, see the losses around the fields, it, it really hits home. 2013 is already shaping up to be a difficult one for farmers right across the Midlands. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, near Bishop's Castle in Shropshire.